So if you don't know, the gist of Worgen form is that you can use cat form ability. So you're gonna be using like claws and rakes and stuff like that. And then after you use a finisher, like Ferocious Bite or Rip or something, you can get an instant cast, either like a Mind Blast or Vampiric Touch. So you can kind of weave in some Shadow Priest stuff in between your Feral stuff. And there's some talents and some skills that synergize really well to kind of amplify the damage of like Mind Blast and uh, like physical abilities and stuff like that. So we'll take a look at all that stuff in a minute. But right now I gotta get leveled. Oh, I should probably equip gear, all right? That's the thing that should happen. Drink a XP potion. Might've pulled a few too many. Am I gonna die right now? Oh boy, that level saved me. I did attempt this Worgen form build once before and it didn't work out great. Um, but I learned a little bit since the last time I did it and I think I can do it better. I'm not really going to be able to card everything I need, I think, to make the build fully work. But really, there's going to it's going to require a lot of lucky rolls later on. I'm going to be running agility main stat. Worgen form is cat form and you get extra like attack power bonuses and stuff or having agility while you're in cat form. So I think agility is going to be the move. I've seen a lot of the ascension creators doing cat builds lately, like serpent form and fire cat. But I haven't seen anybody do a Worgen build yet, which makes me think it probably sucks, but we're just going to pretend like it doesn't and hope for the best. Okay, I'm level 8. I'm about to turn in uh, these two quests that I have, but I think they may get me to level 10 because of my experience potion. So I'm going to go ahead and lock in the skills that I actually want. So these are my starter skills. Swipe, Shadow Word Pain, Feral Charge, Claw. Skill cards moving forward, level 10 and beyond. We've got Worgen Form, Goldrin's Fury, Mind Blast, and Venomous Fury. I take Venomous Fury over Ferocious Bite just because it hits harder and it's like an AoE. For talent cards, we've got Goldrin's Guile. This is going to let our finishing moves give us instant uh, Mind Blasts that generate combo points. Twisted Faith or Shadow Word Pain on our target is going to make Mind Blasts hit harder and Shadow Word Pain is also going to give me mana back. Whispers of the Old Gods or Shadow Word Pain is going to summon Tentacles. I don't know if this is great for this build, but it's fun and I want to do it, so I'm doing it. Feral Shadow Charge, when I use a Feral Charge, it's gonna put an AoE under the target. Uh, this AoE does damage and reduces the cooldown of my Feral Charge. Darkness, my Shadow Word Pain basically is gonna give me a chance to reset the cooldown on Mind Blast and make it free. And then Improved Mind Blast uh, reduces the cooldown of Mind Blast and gives a big mortal strike effect on Mind Blast. Are there better things I could take? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. At the end of the day, I'm going to have to high roll stuff for like mind flay synergies and that kind of thing anyway. So I'm going to need a lot of luck at level 60, basically. But this is setting me up for some cool stuff, I think. Reveal new spell. Let's go. And we got our Worgen form. Nice. And we got Goldrin's Guile. So now when we do our finishers, we're going to get instant cast mind blast. Except, um, except right now we don't have any finishers or mind blast. <laughs> but that's it's all good. Everything's fine. Hop into battleground. See one guy going to uh, Fell Reaver. See if we can win a fight. He's level ten too. Let's get up there and get him. Yeah. Oh, we jumped each other. Dude, he just fall through the floor. Working as ascended. <laughs> uh, I'll put a graphic up on the screen here of some future uh, spells and talents that I hope to get and I'm gonna aim for. It's not an all-inclusive like completely thought out full build but there are a handful of things that i think would be really nice to have i'm gonna kind of keep my eyes out for later come on i'm gonna kill this gnome gnomes are delicious get in my belly you little shit nom, 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 nom. oh cool i got mind blast and whispers of the old gods it's all coming together oh my tentacles are out nice shadow charge let's go and Venomous Fury. Alright. My kit is mostly online now. Yeah, my kit is online, so... Now, I build combo points. I Ferocious Bite, or Venomous Fury. And then I follow it up with an Instant Cast Mind Blast. And that's kind of the basic rotation. Build combo points to Ferocious Bite. Follow up with a Mind Blast. Rinse and repeat. Let's we'll see if somebody tries to come 1v1 me. Looks like they're just gonna let me take this base. It's free real estate. A challenger approaches. Fuck, man. A level 18, too. I've got five combo points already, though. Let's go. Get Shadow Word Pain up. Venomous Fury. Mind Blast. Let's fucking go, dude. He wasn't ready. Mind Blast again. Boom! He wasn't ready. Should level 18 ass out of here, boy. Uh-oh. This guy's about to smoke me, though. I'm not going to be able to take him twice. <laughs> Ferocity. Okay, this is good. This isn't slotted, but this is useful. Make my uh, combo point generators cheaper so I can get out more uh, Venomous Furies. 
I'm actually doing damage now. It's kind of cool. This is just generally okay. Nice. Uh, we lost badly, but I got 11 levels <laughs> out of there. Increases arcane and nature spell damage. Increases damage in cat form by 4%. That's good. We'll take it. Uh, I'm going to run a few low-level mana storms for some gear. After I get a little bit of gear. After like I'm fully geared or close to fully geared, I'm going to hop back in Battlegrounds and try to own some people. Nice. We got our DPS cooldown. Okay, this could be good later. Hopefully I get Rake later on. Ask and you shall receive. I'm going to hop back in a battleground. Hopefully they can kill the EFC without me. Just going to keep it pushing. This guy's going to kill me. God damn. Hey, the good news is I'm level 30, so if this guy caps the flag, I can bounce. Going to get the flag back. Going to get it. And AFK. <laughs> Don't need that kind of negativity in my life. <laughs> I get stunned mid-jump. What the hell? <laughs> you know, I actually like this skill just because it gives me a ranged way to generate combo points. This is good for the agility buff. I don't really have any hunter stuff, though. Oh, one of five mental quickness. Damn, I was hoping that was going to be a big five of five. That's okay. We'll take it. I'm level 39. If I don't level up after this one, I'm going to jump into another battleground. Nice. All right. BG time. I'm just going to shadow meld here at the flag. And just hang out. Our unsuspecting victim approaches on his little mouse companion. We let him think he's got the flag. And then we pounce. He never had a chance. He never saw it coming. All right. Time to lurk. We have a, we have a contester. Oh, this is the guy that was kicking my ass in that last battleground. Not anymore. Not again. Vengeance will be mine. We got one. Finish him. Shadow meld. Engage. Now we wait for our prey to approach. Damn, our boy is popping off. And here I am just defending the blacksmith. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Come here, boy. I can take this guy. Come on, give it, let me have the 1v1. Eat him up, eat him up, come on. I'm waddling, I'm waddling. I can charge. Finish him. Doom. No, we have another challenger. This guy's gonna fuck me up. <laughs> Yo. I just wanna fight people. Come here, bitch. Er, yum, 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 yum. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Come on. Die 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 die. Yeah, baby. The 2v1. 2v1 and a half. Well, here they come. Eat as much as I can, then hide. Come on, come on. Get this flag, get this flag, get the flag, get the flag. Got it, baby. Oh, cool, and he brought it right to me. I'm just gonna sit right here, and uh, maybe we'll cap the base and I'll be able to cap this. This is gonna be a close one. Capped it. <laughs> this is a pro gamer move. Somebody's coming over here to test the waters. We can play. I wanna play a game. Run away, little girl, run away. Oops. Okay, that's good to know, that takes me out. Nom 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 nom. All right, I'm level 60. Here's the game plan. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is clean up my bags. I'm going to head over to the bank, equip all my like best level 60 gear. I'm going to go over to Silas, get as many uh, scrolls of rerolls as I can get. I'm going to reroll every useless skill and talent that I have. See what we end up with. I will go over to the dummy, do some DPS testing. Then we will talk about talents and skills that I'm going to be hoping for in the future. Some potential bangers that we can maybe roll at some point. All right, I have 52 spell rerolls and 108 talent rerolls. Let's see what we get. Okay, all the scrolls have been used. So these are the spells that we've ended up with. Uh, some new things that we got were Serpent Venom. So I have this in place of Rip. I haven't been really using Rip, and I think the only benefit of using this is it inc it'll increase the critical strike chance of Venomous Fury because of a talent that I have. I'll show you that in a minute. This may be a DPS buff, maybe not. I have to test it. I don't know. It may be better to just not use this at all and just spam Venomous Fury. I got Shadow Smash. 
This is a warrior ability, but it's usable while shapeshifted. Uh, does decent damage, but it increases the shadow and physical damage that I deal for the next 10 seconds. So just kind of an on cooldown use it kind of thing for a damage buff. The only other spell that I got that really works into the rotation is Vampiric Touch. I'll be able to keep this up instead of just spamming Mind Blast every single time. Again, don't know if this is going to be like a net DPS buff or if it's better to just spam Mind Blast. We will see. Oh, I got Tiger's Fury as well. I don't know if I can stack this with Goldrin's Fury, but if I can, that's even just more DPS, so I'll try. I'll try to macro them together and see if it works. As far as talents go, I didn't get anything too crazy. I did actually, let me backtrack, I did get Ravage. And then I got this talent here, Ambush Predator. My Rake and Rip damage, which this gives me even more reason to use Serpent Venom, has a chance to make Ravage usable outside of stealth. So it might be worth it to press this to proc Ravages and increase the critical strike chance of Venomous Fury. Have to see. I got this, this adds some damage to my swipe. What else did I get that's big? Um... Got rank five of this, reducing the energy cost of my uh, combo point generators. Vitality, this is big, 40% more energy regeneration. That's huge. But yeah, I don't think I really got anything too like build altering or like gameplay shattering. Those are my rolls. Uh, I've got my gear on, my item level is 61. PVE power 495. Let's see what kind of damage this can do. I'm basically maintaining um, Vampiric Touch, using Mind Blast when I can, using Ravage when I get the procs, keeping Serpent Venom up, keeping Rake up, using Goldrin's Fury on cooldown. So single target damage, not amazing. We got a lot of room to improve with my talents and spells probably. Talents for sure. This is what the damage breakdown looks like. Serpent Venom is the biggest portion of my damage by far. This thing is crazy. And it makes me wonder why I'm not just playing a Snake Druid or uh, a Poison Cat. So what do I want to make my build better? I think having Mind Flay or Unbounded Mind Flay would be good with Visions of Insanity. Also Goldrin's Focus here. Your instant cast um, Mind Blast and Vampiric Touches will give you Goldrin's Focus, which stacks up to increase the damage of your Mind Flay. So then you feed your Mind Flay into Visions of Insanity, which empowers your next Mind Blast to hit even harder. So it's like the cycle of... Mind Flay, Mind Blast. Then there's some other talents here that boost your Mind Flay. Um, Master Flayer makes it channel faster. And then just some flat damage buff type stuff that I don't have. So there's room to improve this. I don't know what the potential is, but it's fun in theory. I don't know. It's a fun concept.